And, you know, I, I took inspiration from the, you know, original Sims lot, you know, with Rob Lowe in it. And then I took inspiration from the miniseries. And then, you know, I tried to mix those two while putting my spin on it. So, you know, I really just gave, tried to give it my all because, you know, everybody else was giving it their all. So, you know, it was really, you know, such an experience to work on such an iconic project. Yeah, speaking of all the other people on the cast, this cast is like stacked with, you know, stars, stars of the future, stars of the past, just great ensemble cast. What was it like acting with all of them? Like you get to act with Lewis Pullman, you get to act with Bill Camp, you get to act with William Sadler. So just like talk, go through what it was like acting alongside all of these excellent talents in the film. Um, so, you know, when I was acting alongside of them, you know, we were having just such fun on the set, you know. You know, since me and Lewis were pretty much, you know, you know, carrying the movie for the end of it, you know, it was really cool working with him. Uh, I saw that he was in the new Thunderbolts, so yes. I'm, I'm really excited to see how that's going to be. And, you know, I, I just I wish the best for him in the future. And I would love to work again with him. Um, but then working with, you know, Nicholas Corvetti, you know, he was very nice. You know, he was you know, very cool. You know, it was such a pleasure working with him, um, especially during the, you know, the uh, window scene. That was really cool. Mm -hmm. And, and um, you know, working with such talented actors such as, you know, Alpha Woodard, you know, she's, you know, just such a legend in her craft. You know, she's, you know, such an amazing person to work with, you know, working with, you know, Bill Camp, you know, he was really cool too. I mean, just really everyone in general, you know, we all really just, you know, had a lot of fun and we were just, you know, giving it our all. We were, you know, just, you know, really feeling the spirit of, you know, Sidham's Lot and Halloween, especially since, you know, while we were filming it, the time, you know, was Halloween while we were filming it. So that just made it feel even better. So speaking of, you know, the Halloween time, the, the movie is, is pretty damn scary. Um, how scary was it seeing Kurt Barlow for the first time on set? Just he's, you know, such an iconic look from the miniseries and they updated it for this film. What was it like seeing him for the first time? So when I tell you it was an out-of-body experience, <laughs> I, I mean, you would just, you would have to be there because, you know, they didn't let, um, they didn't let us see him until, you know, we finally got to do a scene with him. And honestly, I'm so glad they did because they made it way more authentic. Because um, the first time I saw him, I was just, it, it was like time stopped. It was like, is that is that really a, a vampire? Because he looks so different from every other vampire in the entire movie. And it just, it really catches your eye instantly. So you worked with uh, director Gary Doberman here on the film. He did the, uh, he wrote uh, it previously. Um, what was it like with his direction? Like, what was it like just, you know, his process with you going through the character of Mark and going through the film? So the process was it definitely a lot, you know, it was, you know, a lot in order to get the, the role of Mark Petrie because we had to go through, you know, the self tape and then the callback and then we had the director's callback and the chemistry and then another, another tape. And then I finally got it. But honestly, you know, I, I can definitely understand that because, you know, you're, you're picking a person that is going to be you know, running with this character for such a long time. And, you know, people in the future are going to look back at this movie and they're going to see this as the original, you mm -hmm. know? So it was, you know, just such a, you know, nerve wracking feeling to have to, you know, go through the process because it, it's, you know, it's just so nerve wracking, you know, you would just have to be there to experience it because it's mm -hmm. just, it's such a crazy feeling. So you acted with a bunch of adults on this film. You acted with people that were of your own age. Did they do any, any tricks? I know, uh, you know, you're acting away from the kids for a lot of the film, uh, did they do any tricks to sort of keep you guys apart from each other to make it so that there was more animosity or were you guys just, you know, hanging out on set? And then when the cameras rolled, it, you know, you guys got into business. 
So actually, we um, I'm actually glad you asked that question. <laughs> um, so we actually hung out a lot. Um, you know, just me and the other kids on the set. We actually hung out a lot uh, on and off set, especially during you know um, Halloween because we actually all went trick or treating with each other. So wow. <laughs> Yeah, we um, you know, we went trick or treating with the director and everyone else in the cast, um, and that was really cool because we got to you know trick or treat throughout you know most of the night. We got so much candy, um, <laughs> I, I couldn't even finish it all. So you know that was really cool, and we just had so many good times on the set, you know, on and off set. So, speaking of just on set, what was the hardest scene for you to film? Was there a specific scene that came out that? you know, it was just difficult or was, you know, a lot of effects or anything like that that you can uh, talk about? Um, well, if I had to pick one scene that was really challenging, probably the scene right, I hung upside down because that one was very <laughs> demanding. Um, and honestly, you know, when we was practicing the stunt, you know, I was like, yeah, I'm not going to get dizzy. It'd be fine. You know, <laughs> I don't know why I thought I was Spider-Man, but <laughs> when you get up there upside down, it's just... You get dizzy very fast, or, or at least I did. And, you know, we took breaks in between every single take, but my mind just couldn't, it, it couldn't get back to normal. So, you know, it was very challenging, but I'm very glad I stuck with it. And I actually, you know, I bunkered down and it came out really well. So I'm, mm -hmm. I'm really glad that I got to do that. Uh, so this film, it was shot a little while ago, and then it's finally being released in 2024. What was like, what's that weight like as an actor, as a performer in the film? Like, sort of what was going through your mind as we were all learning news about this? We learned about the Salem's Lot uh, reimagining, readaptation, and then we kind of had to wait. What was it like for you to wait uh, for the film's release? Um, You know, the intent, the the anticipation and the hype for it that I had was, it was, it was, it was crazy. You know, it was, it was a thing to where, you know, originally I thought they were going to, you know, scrap the film. Cause sometimes they do that with a lot of movies, but you know, when Stephen King made the tweet about, you know, he was wanting to, you know, see the film finally come out, that really did, you know, help the, the movement for this movie to finally come out. And, you know, now it's airing today. So, it's just, it's like a nerve wracking feeling, but it's kind of like a, a good type of nervousness. Like, you know, it, it's finally here. So, you know, you everyone gets to finally see and experience the film for themselves instead of just having to, you know, kind of wait and see what they're going to do. And yeah, that relief of the film actually releasing must be just such an insane feeling of all these people getting to finally see your hard work on screen. So we'll just wrap it up here with with a little bit of a fun question. Uh, this is obviously a Stephen King adaptation. Are there any other Stephen King adaptations that you would want to act in or work on in the future? <sighs> um, hmm. Maybe if they do another Pet Cemetery, I, I know they might. Actually, I kind of hope if they you know remake it. Um, cause you know, the last adaptation kind of left off on the cliffhanger. So maybe we can pick off from there, but you know, that would be really cool to work on a pet cemetery, especially if I got to work with the rest of the cast on that, that'd be really cool. You know, that'd be a whole new experience. Um, yeah. And also too, if you really think about it, you know, the, the, the people coming back from life, you know, coming back to life in pet cemetery and the vampires and Zim's lot are not really too different. So I mm -hmm. think that would be really you know easy to kind of ease into that'd be cool be cool awesome well you can check out jordan preston carter in salem's lot on max today it's out right now go check it out his performance is awesome as mark petrie thank you so much for your time jordan and i wish you all uh, wish you the best in the future thank you you too